Thank you, Sip Mrs. Meet Chandani, Sip Girish, Sip Ansul, Sip Raju, Sip Dasi, Sip Yogini, Sip Rajesh, Sip Bliss, Sip Pankaj, Sip Bliko, Sip Ashok, Sip Rekha, Sip Sagai, remove from admin, Sip Sagai, Sip Samatma, Sip Paratiyama, and the rest of you who are coming to this call. I was just watching a beautiful sunset, and by the time I, I could see the manifestation of the divine, uh, I missed you all by a few seconds. But I think you all are used to it now. So today is the subject of our discussion. The subject of our discussion is uh, administrator. Why is the world crying and dying? <laughs> Sometimes you wonder where these topics come from, right? Why is the world crying and dying? So do you know who would like to? First of all, is the world crying and dying or no? Tell me the world is not crying. Who told the world is not crying? In right from the Bollywood movies, there is what is called Rona and Dhona. Right? There is crying and there is dying. And then again, there is crying. And again, there is dying. And again, there is crying. So we have got... Uh, the champion, who's going to be the champion, who's going to come on and tell us, what is the cause? Why is the world? Huh? Why is the world? Try and bang. I'm waiting for a champion. I think it's Harsh. By now I know this is Harsh. Uh, so tell me Harsh. Ignorance. They Ignorance. are. They do not know who they are. They are attached with the things of this world, which is the illusion, which is not exactly existing. And the one who is enlightened, who is away from the Brahm, who is out of the Brahm, per Brahm, who know the per Brahm, who know the out of the illusion of the universe. That, that person knows the every crying, every dying. What is dying actually? We are not dying, we are just leaving our body, but the human is living with the body for 40, 50, 60 years, and now he is attached with it. He is too attached Amazing. with it that he thinks that he is dying. Uh, one, someone said that uh, uh, human is not afraid of dying. Human is afraid of losting. Human is thinking that he is the body and he is he's afraid that he must not uh, lose himself. He must not uh, disappear. He must not uh, um, totally go to the zero point, go to nothingness. He's afraid of losing the things, losing the body, losing the mind, losing what he thinks he is. So everything is due to ignorance. He do not know the reality of the universe. And on the other side, the pain is the cause why some people are enlightened because they have experienced a huge amount of pain and some because they are not there. That is why people say the religion is uh, making you afraid of hell. And these people say we are enlightened and we have experienced the hell. So that is the reason that they are ignorant about the reality. They do not know who they are. When they know who they are, they will not afraid of dying. When they know who they are, they will not attach themselves to the world. What do you think? How, how, how many of you like the answer? How many of you are going to comment on the answer? Or you're going to thank you, Harsh. Thank you for uh, why well, I know I hope I wish you were on, on uh, video so people could see you and as you spoke. But I appreciate your very key. He said he divided into why people are crying and why people are dying. So he very, very appropriately put it. But I would like the opportunity for others to also speak. Uh, that means I told you. If you are not asking a question on a daily basis, it means you are not progressing on this journey. You must ask a question. You must force yourself to ask a question. Yes, please. Who's asking the question? A person yes, Girish. thinks that he is an individual, separate individual in this world. Okay. And uh, he forgets his uh, real nature. And he thinks that he is the body. And this body is the source of pleasure. So he is indulging into 
sense gratification and he fears dying but he wants to make children so that after his death his existence can be lived through daughter or son like that he perpetuates the ignorance good good so we are trying to understand first what is this cause of this crying and dying and then we are going to try to see what is the solution to it so right now we are still not yet covered the first aspect why is the world crying and dying is it necessary is it what? necessary to cry again many people think that whatever is accessible to our senses is the truth but right. actual truth they are unaware of that's why they are suffering being mentally away from the truth even though right. actually they are not ever away so is there any necessity to cry and then die absolutely no they can die knowing the truth that then why is it not dying only body dies then why is it the whole world is crying girish they are following the herd so people think that you and me are fools we are just we are we are we are behaving like we know everything and uh, people are ignorant actually people are thinking we are ignorant we are fools yes they think the herd thinks they are they are right yes they think that it is fun to cry and to die yes so is it okay no so should we also should follow them from tomorrow or from no. today no so uh, nobody likes to cry and die nobody likes to but people are doing it people are doing it and the, we have to we have to identify clearly one like i like harsh he started is saying key point is ignorance girish brought out the other aspect of it because there's no realization ignorance and is the negative aspect realization is the positive aspect yes girish an individual thinks that if i get that thing i will be happy so he Correct. chases it when he gets it whether the material or a person its his attention is drawn to some other object so this endless searching endless desire endless craving becomes endless then he ends his life and comes back and suffers and repeats the same thing again and again again and again again and again so the story continues but why is it so difficult for the world to understand that why is it that we in this group also are struggling because, because, to reach that state because maya is so powerful that they sink in the world but girish is more powerful than maya atman in girish not girish <laughs> as long as you are girish you are not more powerful than maya but the moment you become atma in girish then you become more powerful than maya yes then you are able to transcend it yes the topic of today's discussion we will go on to blicko and rekha the topic of today's discussion is very profound why is the world crying they are crying and dying actually there is no death even i think harsh touched this point also where is death that is a that is liberation that is celebration but we don't understand i am just finishing 10 new bhajans on the subject of death my latest cd i think tomorrow i have finished 9 tomorrow we will finish the 10th bhajan 10 new bhajans i hope i will i will share with you we don't understand the meaning but we are crying somebody dies we cry why we don't know why we cry when we see somebody die but we cry so there's there is a big um paradox the a paradox which we can't understand why this why we cry and we die blico come on blico let's let's get a little deeper into the subject the subject Whoa. is still this why is the world crying and dying blico shiva 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 so yeah. the ignorance is the main reason yeah. that is already discussed and the ignorance is not they are afraid not superficial yeah. it is very deep it's a ignorance of the ignorance of the truth whatever we, uh, people think that no they are knowledgeable that is just uh, information 
and then this Maya is covering all the knowledges and then make you su suffer in the sansar. Like a movie, if you believe the movie is true, you will cry, you will laugh, you will uh, become sad. But once you know that this is a movie, this is a, just a lila, a Maya, then you can be at, detached from that and enjoy the movie. What Same a beautiful example. Sansar. What a beautiful example. See, what a beautiful example oh, Blico, yeah. Blico is saying. Blico is giving an example that, you know, don't we get emotional in the movie? Sometimes there's a movie and we get emotional. We get emotional in the movie. We start laughing. We start crying. We especially start crying. We become upset in the movie. Oh, he's dying, blah, 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 blah. But it's just a movie. And then those who realize it's just a movie, they don't get affected. But we are not able to realize it. Why we are crying and why we are dying? Because we think this world to be real. When we know, absolutely we know, absolutely we know that we will die. The body will die. And we will never die because we will leave the body. People will burn the body because we left the body and we are not this body. But even after talking about it 100 times in Zoom call, 200 times in Zoom call, still it doesn't go inside. And then we are crying and die. My challenge is this, what I told you. My challenge is, in fact, tomorrow, Friday session. Very interesting. I was just doing a review of the session. I do a review of Friday sessions. Only session I do full reviews on Fridays. Because I have to talk for 30 minutes. You know, tomorrow is a very important session because all of you have to reflect what is holding us back. What is holding us back in this journey? We have to understand. If we don't understand, then it won't work. So tomorrow's subject is something is holding us back from realization and liberation. What? What is stopping us from the bulb of light, but the light to come on? What is stopping us for, to be free from in the cage? This is tomorrow's discussion. But Rekha and Yogini, let's today, let's stick to today's subject today. Rekha first and then Yogini. Bolo Rekha. Shivoham Air. Shivoham. We, we cry because they are slaves of the mind, body, and ego. Good. They think they think that everything is theirs, like my children, my possessions, all this. They they think it is real. So that is why they have this fear that when they die, they have to leave this behind. They cry because they suffer the pain of the body, agony of the mind, and ego. So that is one big reason which they cry. They don't accept and surrender. So the good point, we are slaves. We are slaves of the senses. The senses are ruling us. We are slaves of the mind. The mind is driving our horse. We are slaves of the ego. The ego doesn't exist, but we are slaves of the ego. We become angry. We get hate, revenge, jealousy. When are we going to be free? Obviously, we will cry. If there's anger and hate and revenge and jealousy, obviously, we will cry. And then we will die. <laughs> Only to come back. See, a person who does not cry does not die. Do you understand? Who can, who can explain to me this from a learning you have learned in the past? Who can explain this to me, including Sudip? Let me, who, who can tell me? Why is it that a person who does not cry does not die? Who can explain this? Because the person knows he is not a body, mind, and ego. He is the divine soul. Yeah. So, why he will not die? Because he a self-realized person. He knows. That, the body that person will not cry because yeah. that person will say, I'm not the body, mind, ego. He will not cry. But why yeah. he will not die? Because he, the soul never dies. Good. Very good. You have said it in your own way. But what we have learned, what I have learned in, in talking with you, what mm -hmm. I have learned, please remember this as it, as it comes back to me from what I have been speaking to you. Realization is liberation from the triple suffering on earth. Yes. And rebirth. 
realization has got two steps. First, it stops crying. Second, it stops dying. Realization has got two steps. Liberation from misery on earth. Liberation from rebirth. Yogini will give uh, Sudip uh, intervention before I come to you, Yogini. Sudip Bhargava. Shivam, sir. Shivam, sir. Sir, if we can live uh, like an observer, like the station master example that you give, he is just observing the trains coming and going, but he's not getting attached with the train. He's not getting involved in any of the transactions things with the train. He's just showing the flag. You have to stop and you have to go. So the moment we live like an observer without getting attached with all that is happening, I think then the crying will stop. And then that because the observer will never leave anywhere because he's not getting affected. So I'm not able to connect on how will he not die, but he will not cry because he's not getting involved with the transaction. Sudeep, Sudeep, stop and pay attention in consciousness. Ready? Sudeep, yes. the moment we stop crying is the moment of realization. And the moment of crying, we don't cry because of realization. The next step, we don't die because of realization. Because who dies? The body dies. I am not the body. The mind doesn't exist. The ego doesn't exist. So the body dies. I don't die. You're getting the point? When there's realization, then there's no crying. And then there is no dying. I hope you understand. So the moment you are realized, if you are fully enlightened, will you die? Who will die? The body will die. Sudip Bhargava will die. Ah, the body of Sudip Bhargava. Correct, correct. Yes. Sudip Bhargava will die. Girish will die. But not the Atma in Girish. Hmm. Because he mentioned today, I am I'm Atma in Girish. So, so, it's very important. The moment Sudip, if there is no... Otherwise, crying will be there. Na? Why? When, will, when, is, when is it the point that there is no crying? Only when there's realization. One flip side, when you flip the coin, no crying. Flip the coin, no dying. Both are coming from realization. And both are caused. Why are people crying? Why are people dying? Like Harsh started ignorance. Girish came about and said realization. And then then Blikho said some added on to it. So Rekha, Rekha Parvani added on to it. It's but somehow. And the challenge for me is this. What is holding you back? That is tomorrow's discussion. So I'm preparing you. I want to know what is holding you back. Because I know what is holding me back. I know. You think, you think I don't have challenges? Of course. Just because I have been so realized truths of life and I'm blessed with some enlightenment. As I told you, don't think enlightenment is a very great thing. Don't think if somebody is enlightened, they are a god. No, anybody can be enlightened. Being enlightened is, is only having a passport. You may have passport. You cannot go to America. You need visa. You cannot go to uh, Bliss and Blicko to Canada. You need visa. If you want to go to Canada, you need visa. Uh, the enlightenment is a passport. Liberation is the visa. You need liberation. Then only you can enter the kingdom of heaven. But we problem is we all have passport. We don't have visa. Many of us don't even have passport. Many of us have got expired passport. We are thinking we have passport. When you go to an airport for immigration officer, he will tell you, get out, get out. Sorry, sorry, your passport is expired. Get out. I will see sometimes you find people like that going to an airport and they say, sorry, sorry, passport is expired. So my dear friends, my big challenge is this. I have to help you climb over. My challenge is how can I help you to climb over? That is my challenge. I know it's not easy. I know. We have to struggle. It's not easy to become one with God. It's not easy to become one with SIP, but it's possible. And today's subject, stop the crying. You are not the one who is dying. Then what? Who am I? What is holding me back? That is tomorrow's continuation. But today we are still stuck on this point. It will help us in, the, in understanding. 
why as the why the world is crying like who who said uh, it's a movie blicko right blicko said it's it's a everything is a movie the moment you realize the movie then where the question of crying no crying yogini shivam sir shivam yogini your bhajan reminds me ye leela hai maya kuch bhi sach to na so unless we don't not understand but realize unless we don't realize this that this world is just a maya we don't have to sink into it but just sit and watch it then there will be no crying or dying why we are not able to do it because we are stuck to this world we are thinking it is real so sad no so we are stuck to people we are stuck to possessions we are stuck to pleasures ah huh? somebody wants to eat biryani means they have to eat biryani it's like that dog sitting on the nail and then crying but he doesn't want to realize that that nail is hurting me i have to get off it we because are not, not willing hurting. to do that because it's not hurting so much but it is hurting no sir so that at least realization should be there no it's hurting a lot it's hurting so much we are groaning ah oh, oh e we are groaning through life we are not able see let me tell you one thing suppose i am in a state of sat chit anand we'll go next with blicko blicko is coming next suppose we are in the state of sat chit anand you know what is that state sat ke chit mein rehta ananda mein rehta satchidananda my god that state is beautiful but we are unable to be in that state we are unable to have ananda because there is no sat chit the chit the consciousness is not there why the consciousness is not there because the mind is bombarding with thoughts and it is it is re- replacing myth satya with myth man mitha yes. man no. mitha dukha mo dukha man mitha dukha sat man chit mitha. anand correct na? man mitha dukha no is it right yes. or wrong it's this right is not, this is dukha. not my word this is zoom word we have created all this we, we have got a zoom acronym and a zoom dictionary which we have created in zoom pirlu is zoom uh, magic is zoom all this is created in zoom so we have our own zoom so i am i'm still you know my goal is to help you reach yours my goal is to help you reach that point where you are so blissful in this call you say i am liberated i am enlightened i am liberated i'm free but that we'll discuss tomorrow that's tomorrow's session so i don't want to spoil blico thank you blico thank you sir so uh, this movie and whatever we see on the tv screen in movie is different that is uh, we have to understand because this movie is multi dimension and it is a huge and you are also in the movie so it is different you just cannot watch by leaving aside everything because you have to act also so that is making people you know forget about movie and they start behave behaving and acting like everything is real so by knowing also this sansar is a movie but it is difficult to grasp because you are also in the movie acting as a human in the human form and you are interacting with people their emotions and all sort of uh, you know actions and uh, activities are going on so you forget about that movie it is not like watching movie on the tv and then sitting aside and just uh, be a drashta because you are acting here now you have to react also and when you react you get emotionally attached and in this attachment and detachment and all this uh, you know ups and down you forget this this is movie you think that this is real i am doing this that's why this is happened i will do there that i will be happy i will do this i will I'll be happy but there is no way you know to come out unless you have to remind yourself continuously that even if you are acting as a actor in the movie 
this is just a movie and you are inside this rented rented apartment called body you are not in this body you are always here you never born you never die so that is taking a problem so how to get that grip that is important and that we want to know so before before we end this session we must we must put the whole thing together okay because uh, this world is crying and this why why is this world crying and dying so we will we must conclude with a proper conclusion because we shouldn't lose plot of that but we are discussing the subject there's no problem in going here and there we should not end the discussion without that bliss thank you bliko bliss what are you to say hi shwam dear good morning bliss i i write right bliss is writing so that there's no confusion in the translation no <laughs> so bliss is telling us the world is crying and dying because they don't understand it's just a piece of theater good it's just a drama must accept and surrender very good nobody told this why is the world crying and dying because we don't accept what we don't accept it is karma we don't accept why it happened why me why it happened we are always questioning and we don't surrender we don't surrender because finally the divine will is supreme above all appreciate we are each minute because we don't know when we go we are not living in life moment by moment we are crying we are living in yesterday gone tomorrow not yet born if we live in this moment will we cry nobody yeah. will cry in this moment this moment will take care of all the problems we are worried about tomorrow today one girl was telling me oh i am very worried about tomorrow i am very worried about next 3 months doctor has told me i cannot go to work how will i feed myself from 3 months i don't have any any support system we are worried about next 3 months we are not worried about today today i am okay all is good so we are prisoners of our daily life excellent excellent we are really prisoners bliss very beautifully <laughs> said See, i told you all of you are divine souls each of you comes with such amazing inputs that's why the zoom call some people tell me no no we don't like to come to zoom call because so many people are speaking i tell you don't come no problem because this call is the call of so many souls giving their vision and giving their sparks of realization we are prisoners of our daily life and in thinking we we fall without realizing that we are taken in we fail or we fall we fall without realizing yes uh, we don't realize we are prisoners yeah. we don't we don't realize and we cry see the problem is this right the problem is since uh, there's nobody else speaking let me there's bring no, the loop loop around the problem so is uh, the show is so real and it's because we fall in yeah, drama because you is, fall, because you yeah. fall in the, because you fall into the show it becomes real but if you go yeah. out of the show then it's not real then it's only illusion yeah you have to make a distance with the show and but now we are not but, not easy to just look but we are not able to keep distant because yeah. of the body the body thinks it's me and my name we think we think that we think that it is me my name i and then mm. the mind the mind behaves like it is real so the point is we are prisoners we are crying we are dying and this is a choice we have a choice we have a choice of overcoming ignorance we have a choice of being enlightened but we cling we cling to this samsara we cling to it out of ignorance out of ignorance out of because we don't have a good guru we don't have a, a master spiritual master to help us we don't have the grace of god we are not praying enough there is not enough bhakti yoga so there, there are so many reasons but the fact is the world is crying 
the, and the principal thing is the world is crying because of ignorance and no realization. And the world is dying because they don't know they are immortal souls. In this call, all of you must be absolutely clear. I will never die. You cannot die. You are an immortal soul, but you don't realize this. You don't realize you are an immortal soul. Only the body dies, my dear friends. The body has to die. This body has to die. This body cannot escape. God has made it like that. This body has to die. But we don't have to cry because I am not this body. I leave the body. But people are ignorant. People say, may his soul rest in peace. What soul? Which soul? What soul? Where he will rest in peace. So because we don't realize we are gone, we are reborn. We've been talking about this a lot, right? But my challenge is, in this call at least, we should not be crying and we should not be dying. We should be absolutely clear that we are the Atma. We are the immortal soul. One day when the body dies, the soul flies. You know, it's such a simple thing. We tell the person passed away, but we are unable to realize that person who passed away is not the body. The body is just what who, who Blico said. It is just a rented apartment. It, Blico said this yesterday. It is a body is like a rented apartment. We are taking the body on rent. Then one day we have to give up the body. We can't take the body and go with us because we are spark of unique life. We are ship. We are the soul. The moment we realize we are ship, we are the soul, we become deathless, we become birthless, we become deathless, we become liberated, we become united with the supreme immortal power, ship. But somehow, something is holding us back. And that I told you is tomorrow's discussion. So to, I'm preparing you for tomorrow. I want you to be ready on what is holding you back. Because I hope you are not crying and I hope you are not scared of dying. If you are on this call, you should never cry because you should know that it's just a show. Nothing in this world is worth crying. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. It's a cosmic drama. We are just actors. We come and we go. There will be laughter, there will be tears, such is the cosmic show. It's a drama, you see, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. It's a drama, you see. You see, it's a drama. It's a drama that is unfolding as per karma. It's a drama of karma. And the moment we realize this, we become free. But we can't stop the world from crying. 99% of the people in this world are ignorant of spirituality. 99%. Remember, I always tell you, only 1% of the people in this world are blind. 1%. They are visually blind. They have no eyesight. 1% is visually blind. 99% are spiritually blind. 99%. When are we going to open our eyes and realize? Surinder Goyal, we are acting out of reflex and not in consciousness. Beautiful. Surinder Goyal, beautiful. We are acting in basically what Surinder is saying is we are reacting. We are not responding. Uh, Surinder, we are reacting because of the mind. Surinder Goel says, we are reacting because of the mind and we are unable to respond out of consciousness. Because when we are in consciousness, then we don't react. Then we respond. Again, again, we are the same mental growth, feeling, thinking, acting in the same way, not to recover out of the illusion. Yeah, because Surinder Goel, every morning we wake up as the body, mind, ego. Every morning we wake up and we get caught in this samsara. Every morning we are caught in this illusion. Then what happens? 
obviously we will cry and we will die and we will say what about my children many of us are so worried about our children <laughs> they are not our children they are not our children they are god's children but we think they are our children we get attached to this is my child no no child is ours the child may come khalil gibran in the poem prophet read it beautiful poem the child comes through you you are just a custodian you are a trustee you don't own the child one day the child will leave you the child has its own destiny the child will not the, do the children live with all children live with all parents they don't some children do some children go but the fact is what surinder goel said we are caught in this rut it is this it's a roller coaster it's like a quick sand and we are sinking in this quick sand and we suffer back to the main subject before we close we suffer we suffer the world is suffering the world is crying because of ignorance the world doesn't understand simple thing my birthday is not my birthday simple thing are we are we a fool just because we learned in school that it's my birthday no wake up awake the birthday is fake you were born 9 months before what were you if you realize this you will not cry because you will not die the body just came the body will go every body must go this we must know but we are unable my dear friends the whole world is crying and that's why i wish some of you to help people before i close today's session let me give this one mission to each one of you every day try to pass on this message of spirituality to one person two person three person please try this is the biggest karma yoga you can do i know many of you tell me sir we have tried but people are not interested imagine i say people are not interested i stop trying what would happen should i stop trying huh from tomorrow no zoom call announcement huh we we'll stop the zoom call from tomorrow okay can we do it to stop the zoom call from tomorrow no cannot do it not possible how can you stop the zoom call this is our oxygen this is our this is our ox we have we need this to survive but how come the whole world is suffering this whole world for them if they get nice masala dosa chutney sambar in bangalore there is a benne benne means butter Uh, butter dosa means you must have it butter butter dosa if you get good butter dosa chutney sambar nothing more people want people are very happy but what will happen to the chut- what happens to the dosa tomorrow morning we know or i have to tell you we know right what happens today what you eat dosa tomorrow morning what happens you know still we are chasing after the dosa so my dear friends it's time to close i'm closing with two thoughts please reach out to those people in the world who are crying and then they are dying help people join the call help people on the spot you are many of you know the subject well either bring the people on this call or help people before i close let me ask five people on this call who brought you to this call who is on this call can you can i have five people on this call to tell me who brought you on this call can i have five people quickly tell me who brought you on this call who is there or is on the call today quickly who brought you to this call uh do the your book sir huh. no no how did you did anybody in this group come bring you to the call no you came directly from the books ha ha yes so yes i am asking did anybody bring you to the call from this from a member on this call anybody pankaj who brought you to the call pankaj blico blico thank you so blico brought pankaj although pankaj is listening every day but he wants to be on the spiritual path and he's very is there every day i notice pankaj you should start speaking because today is good i heard, heard your voice today because that will help you become faster so sachin says i think sachin says dr surinder goel am i right sachin says dr surinder goel brought me to the call who else 
Anybody else before we close? Who, who brought whom to the call? Anybody else? Sir, Rekha Hi. Parvani brought me to the call. Rekha Parvani brought you the call. Yes, Dasi? Ravi Melwani. That's <laughs> yourself. <laughs> That's not me. Ravi Melwani is dead and gone. Ravi Melwani oh. does not exist. Okay. Yeah, but he brought... He, but he brought you to the call. That is true. He brought you to the call because of a past connection. So he brought you to the call. <laughs> so, so my dear friends, this call to me is the biggest blessing to us all. Remember, it's not my call. It's our call. We are all on this call together. And this call is more important than the oxygen we breathe. Because if the oxygen we breathe is not there, the body will die. But if this call is not there, the soul will die. And we should not, therefore, underestimate the importance of this call. With folded hands, tomorrow we'll see you at 7.30. Thank you.